Hi everyone, Mrs. Bilo here. In this video, I'm going to be going over the organelle notes, covering the various organelles, including um, what they look like, so how to identify them in a diagram of a cell, and then what is their job or function? What do they do in a cell? Um, you're going to note that all of the keywords are in green um, for the organelles in these notes. Now, this is definitely going to be two videos because I can't cover all the organelles in one video. All right, first I'm going to start with the cell membrane, right? All cells have this. They have a cell membrane, DNA, cytoplasm, and ribosomes. So the cell membrane, um, one, I'm going to describe its structure, and then two, I'm going to describe a couple things that it does. So the first thing is, uh, the cell membrane, you might also hear called the plasma membrane, is semi-permeable, meaning that only certain things can go in and out of it. We, of course, need to be able to get things like carbohydrates, nutrients into the cell, but then we also have to be able to get rid of waste um, products from the cell. And the structure of the cell membrane is excuse me, what we call a bilayer, bi meaning two. So it's two layers of phospholipids, which remember lipids are one of those macromolecules. And so a phospholipid, remember, um, it looks like this. You have that glycerol head and a phosphate in the head here. And then you have these fatty acid tails or chains. Um, one of them is saturated. Okay, so it's completely straight. I know it doesn't show it here in the diagram very well. And then one of them is unsaturated, which means that it has a double bond and it is bent. And because of this, um, you have some that are like straight, more solid, and then some that are bent, which gives us a little bit of flexibility. So the cell membrane, I wouldn't say it's rigid or like super flexible, but it's somewhere in between. And in addition to lipids, and we're going to talk more about this in the uh, next half of the unit, in addition to the lipids, which are represented here in purple, those phospholipids, you're also going to see proteins embedded in the membrane. So if you want to be, you know, now that we're kind of talking about this more in detail now, to be more correct, you can say that the cell membrane is made up of lipids mostly and proteins. Now that we're more getting in detail with this. And the job of the cell membrane is to control... Um, what goes in and out of the cell. Only certain things can come in, only certain things can leave. And it is made up of that, like I said, that phospholipid bilayer, so two layers of phospholipids with proteins embedded in it. And again, it's kind of fluid, um, but still has some like solid component to it. Next, we have the cytoplasm, or um, you might also see to this uh, called the cytosol. Um, for this class, we're going to say they're the same thing. There is like a technical difference. Um, the technical difference being that the cytosol um, is technically just the fluid part. Whereas the cytoplasm is the cytosol plus all of the organelles that are suspended in it. Um, so that's the technical difference between the two. Um, but we're going to be using those just interchangeably. So the purpose of the cytoplasm or the cytosol, the stuff that is inside of the cell, is one, it fills the cell and it gives the cell its shape. And it is a jelly-like substance. It's fluid, like there's a lot of water that we have present, but we also have some things that make it a little bit more sturdy and not just completely fluid-like. 
and there's lots of things dissolved in that um, jelly-like substance. You might have like nutrients, ions, a whole bunch of different things that the cell might need to do whatever it needs to do. Next, we have the nucleus. This is a very prominent structure if you're looking at a cell, usually under a microscope. And the nucleus, um, one, it stores genetic information, DNA, which is a nucleic acid. And remember, DNA and our um, RNA specifically does protein synthesis, tells us how to make proteins. We'll get more in detail with that in the next unit. And so we can describe the nucleus as the control center because it's going to be the thing that's controlling what goes in and or what goes on in the cell, excuse me, um, because it has the DNA and the DNA is the instructions to tell the cell to make proteins and then those proteins will do whatever they need to do. Surrounding the nucleus, we call this the nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane, and it surrounds the nucleus. So just like the cell has a semi-permeable cell membrane that surrounds the entire cell, the nucleus has its own membrane. We call it the nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane. And just like the cell membrane, it's going to control what goes in and out, but specifically what controls uh, what's going in and out of the nucleus. Um, DNA will always stay in the nucleus. It needs to in order to stay protected um, from the stuff that the other things that are inside of the cell. Um, but this is how we get things, the, those instructions, that RNA out of the nucleus um, in order to make proteins. And again, we'll get more in detail with that in our next unit. Now, inside of the nucleus, we have the nucleolus. And the nucleolus is, um, it's this thing at the center of the nucleus. Sometimes you can actually see it if you're looking at cells under a microscope. You see the, the nucleus. So you have your cell you have the nucleus, and then inside of that is the nucleolus, which is this darker structure, darker stained structure usually. And it's more condensed DNA. Um, you're going to see the word chromatin sometimes come up. That just means the same thing as DNA. And the nucleolus, um, it is its job, its function, is making ribosomal RNA uh, for ribosomes. So this actually is making another type of organelle, which is involved in protein synthesis. Everything's connected here. Next, right outside of the nucleus, we have what's called the endoplasmic reticulum. And there's two types. There's smooth and there is rough. So we're going to start with the rough first. So we call this rough ER. And the reason for that is because when scientists look at it under a microscope, this looks rough um, versus this looks smooth, okay? And the reason for that is um, the rough ER has ribosomes, which is another type of organelle, again, that's made by the nucleolus. And the rough ER, because it has ribosomes, and we're going to get to what ribosomes do in a second, um, their job is to make proteins. Um, the rough ER's job is also to help make proteins and export them to different areas of the cell. So it's this area where we're going to see ribosomes making proteins um, that are going to be used for other things in the body. Versus the smooth ER is... Uh, endoplasmic reticulum without ribosomes, okay? And its job is a couple different things. It builds lipids, okay? So we're seeing um, some other type of macromolecule being involved here, right? Lipids um, instead of proteins. And then also it detoxifies the cell. So um, you're going to see if you ever look at um, like let's say a liver cell, for example, 
Uh, your liver um, is an organ in your body that does a lot of detoxifying, uh, especially of drugs and alcohol. So typically in those cells in your liver, they're going to contain a lot more smooth ER in comparison to other cells in your body. And that can happen. You know, some of the cells in your body have more or less of certain organelles depending on what their job is, or maybe they don't even have certain organelles. It just depends on what the cell's job is overall in like, let's say the human body, um, which of these organelles might be present or you might have more of. So let's get to those ribosomes, okay? So ribosomes are the site, so the where protein synthesis occurs using RNA. So in the last unit, we talked about RNA, how it's involved in protein synthesis. Um, so it works with the ribosome to make proteins. And again, those ribosomes, they can be found on the ER or they might just be floating around in the cell. And oftentimes they're represented as these little dots. If you really zoom into them, they look more like this. They're made up of these two pieces. Um, they're made up of um, our RNA and they're also made up of proteins as well. And again, these are made by the nucleolus. So in the next video, I'm gonna go over the rest of the organelles, but just to recap, Ribosomes are where protein synthesis takes place in the cell, so where proteins are made, and they're going to use RNA to do that, and we'll talk about that in detail in the next unit. Smooth ER is located outside, right outside of, right next to the nucleus, and its job is to make lipids and to also detoxify. You would find a lot of smooth ER in your liver cells, for example, in comparison to other cells in your body. The rough ER um, has ribosomes on it. And again, ribosomes are in charge of making proteins. So the rough ER is also where we're going to see proteins being made and exported or inserted into um, other areas of the cell, like the cell membrane. The nucleus is where DNA is, and DNA is the instructions for making proteins. And so therefore, the nucleus is like the control center of the cell, and it's surrounded by the nuclear envelope. That will control what goes in and out of the cell. The nucleolus is inside of the nucleus, and it makes ribosomes. The cytoplasm, or you can call it the cytosol, is the stuff that fills the cell. It's jelly-like. And then the cell membrane surrounds the entire cell, and it's going to control what enters and exits the cell.